I'm trying to switch an image and uh, once more, and then I come to uh, one of my favorite uh, topics when it comes to uh, wireless MIDI. Uh, it's uh, actually the latency. Um, latency is always a hot topic, and uh, always when it comes, especially uh, when we talk about Bluetooth MIDI. Um, can you tell us more about the current tests, uh, current tests and achievements for uh, specifically the MIDI Master? Uh, yes, latency is definitely important in such a product. Uh, I would say the most important. <clears throat> Please note, we already developed uh, two MIDI Bluetooth products, uh, the X-Key and Weedy Bud, as I previously mentioned. Uh, these products were using the BLE4 technology, uh, Bluetooth over uh, Bluetooth uh, low energy form. And we never had any complaint about latency issue in the past. Our X key was used on stage by professional musicians, uh, and nobody complains about uh, latency, pro latency problem. We the master uh, use uh, the latest BLE5 technology, which is even faster than BLE4. Um, latency depends on the environment and how far are the two connected devices. So we are fully compliant to the MIDI over Bluetooth specification, uh, which was introduced by Apple. And we developed internal algorithms so both de devices can negotiate the lowest possible latency. So until now, we were able to measure latency as low as three to four milliseconds, depending on the connected devices. Uh, most often, we measure latency about five to six milliseconds which is uh, clearly uh, inaudible. And to be fully transparent, we also measured some jitter, which means the latency was not constant, but uh, oscillating by few milliseconds. So this could cause uh, audible artifacts when synchronizing MIDI instruments uh, with a MIDI clock, for instance, a fast MIDI clock. And I am currently working on a firmware release that will reduce that jitter to reach a constant latency around five to six milliseconds in a good environment. Okay, well, thank you once more. It's good to hear that uh, it's an ongoing process and uh, that the firmware will update and improve along the way, of course.